So, uh, hello everyone. Uh, this is the second uh, elusive reconstruction for this month. Um, Zivitherum gigantium. I wanted to do a cool Cenozoic animal, and I thought, why not this animal? Uh, from the horns and top of the skull to its striking resemblance to giraffes today, I could tell this would be a very fun animal uh, to undertake in a paleo art reconstruction. And uh, it's even recognized as one of the biggest uh, of the giraffe family. And as always, there will be a time lapse and a finished product shown at the end. For the paleo art itself, uh, I used a skeletal figure from a 2016 paper, uh, open access, so I'll leave a link in the description if anyone would like to read. Uh, then I also used a deviant art piece for just a simple size and coloration reference. Uh, capturing the size and the posture is something that I thought was especially important for reconstructing such an animal as of Ethereum. And so I ended up using a reference from uh, Samir Prehistorica, linked to this, uh, this reference in the description below with that open access paper. Uh, I also looked at many uh, pictures of giraffes and especially also copies to get down the coloration right. And so I hope you all enjoy the time lapse and the final product at the end of this video. So yeah, the spine lizard is almost here to have me for dinner. Let's kick it off. All right, so the first thing I do is, of course, just get a general outline down. Uh, I then just start putting in colors, seeing which ones work. Uh, it took me a while to get the right ones, but finally got them down, uh, filled in the outlines, and then I started putting in the patterns. I wanted a striped one on the uh, the tail, and I also wanted to make a cool design by the uh, by the behind of the animal because well, copies sometimes have that, and uh, or do have that for that instance. Then I put in the giraffe pattern, and uh, it's really coming together nicely. I finish off the tail, um, and then I of course add that uh, to the neck, and there you go. 